Hey guys, so what Bombi TV guys? You're gonna check in out. So they're gonna check in out Muslim converts telling what impressed them most about our prophet. Guys, let's get straight into this. Like, I need to know. Well, what impressed you the most about our prophet? <laughs> Everything. He's incredible. It would have to be his humanity. Oh, that's a, that's a deep, deep, deep question. Everything is the answer. He's massive. Everything. I just... He's just the best of mankind. I am. Um, it would be unfair and a disservice to him to choose one thing. Oh gosh, there's so many things. If I would put it to one thing, it would be his character. But there's so many different aspects of his character that are amazing. There's so many different points in your life that you can reflect on a different part of his character. For example, when I became a mom and I knew nothing about parenting, I read the book, Children Around the Prophet, and I learned how the Prophet, peace be upon him, would deal with children. The mercy, the patience, the time that he spent, the understanding of their age and their ability to comprehend what you're telling them and how you tell them. It was so beautiful. He wasn't a yeller, he wasn't a hitter. He spoke on a level, he got down on a level with children. There's so many amazing things in his personality, in his character, in the way that he ruled, in the mercy that he had, and the love that he had as a husband, as a leader, you know, as a friend, subhanAllah. It's just, how can you name one thing? It's impossible. This is an amazing question. When we look at the reality of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 1400 years ago, he came, one man in the desert, received revelation from Allah, as well as the highest status a human being can be given, which is a prophet. And the impact that he had on the world, even to this day, and his followers who follow his sunnah, follow his way, or we try to follow his way. The love that we have, look, we're here today. We, we, we're spending our wealth and our time on the deen. We truly have Iman in this. And, and, and if you just imagine all the followers of Islam, not just the ones that are alive today, but for the past 1400 years, preserving the sunnah, preserving the statements and the actions of this man, and obeying the, the, the messenger of Allah, obeying Allah, you know, and the, the, the impact that he's had on this world, that a third of the world currently follow the Prophet, peace be upon him, or, you know, they're Muslim. You know, this is just the introduction. Seriously, when people reflect on this man, and, and what he did, and more importantly, the message that he was given, the solutions that the Qur'an has for humanity. You, you, you bring the Sharia, the, the, the law of, and the guidance from Allah, and you compare it to any other religion or any other, any other philosophy, any other way of life. Islam beats the, any other religion or way of life in its wisdom. And it's also simple to understand. His mercy, especially the time he was coming back from Ta'if, trying to call for the people of Ta'if, but being strong, the you know, stones and against act. Then when he was offered by the angel of the mountain to you know, crush them, what he said, SubhanAllah, please don't. Perhaps there might be generations after them, those who would believe in one God, SubhanAllah. He's incredible and I don't think I could find a better word for him. And I think everybody on this planet can learn a lot from him and they could definitely put his life story into their own life and be a lot more loving, a lot more giving and a lot more accepting. It would have to be his humanity. You know, the humanity of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the example and it is the example that we all aspire to be. He was so humble and kind to everyone. Um, I've never seen harsh words that he's given, even when he was getting on to someone, if he, if he was telling them something that they did wrong, it was still in a way that they wanted to hear it. They, they wanted to hear it. It was never, you know, like we get on to our children. It was, it was delivered in a way that people wanted to receive. 
And that's the way that I like to make da'wah. When I, when I make my da'wah and I tell people about Islam, is I try to think about how would the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, approach this person. This is our belief. It's the belief of submission and peace to one God. You know, it's, it's the, to strive and to be more like him is what we're all wanting to be. Oh, that's a, that's a deep, deep, deep question. Everything is the answer, everything. Every time I read something or learn something new about the Rasulullah وسلم, I love him more. But there's one particular thing that when I learned this thing, I just, I was crying, subhanAllah. And this is actually that there was a, there's a beautiful incident when the Rasulullah وسلم, is growing weak. And so it's close to the end. And he's been uh, walking with two of the companions. And he says, I miss my brothers, I miss my brothers. And his companion said, Ya Rasulullah, we're here with you. He said, no, he said, you are my companions. He said, my brothers are the ones who will believe in me, but they never met me. Okay, for me, when he was trying to spread Islam to the world, there was no Muslim, right? He was the only Muslim who, who get the message and who want to spread the Islam, the message of Islam. I feel a little bit similar because I'm, I'm in Korea and no one is Muslim. I'm the only Muslim and I felt that feelings like how to start with that, like how to deal, how to deal with that. But our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, didn't give up. I, I, I think it's impossible thing, but he did. He spread Islam to the world. And now he started with in, in, in the Mecca, Medina. But now, see, like far from place, like in Indonesia, Malaysia, in the like the west of Africa, everyone believes in Islam. And in, even in South Korea, I believe in Islam. I think this is the amazing thing. And the Islam is the most fastest grow, growing up religion in the world. So I'm really impressed that, that his personality and his action, his everything. But I really impressed that he did spread Islam when the nobody believes Islam. I mean, just like 10 different things came to my mind at the same time. But I think for me, it's about the kindness. And I always think of this one story that always, always comes to my head. And there's the story of the old lady who was carrying stuff. I think you probably know the story that I'm gonna tell. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he helped her carry this stuff. And the entire journey, she was complaining about him. She didn't know who he was, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She was complaining, there's this guy, he calls himself a prophet, he does this, he's awful, he does all these bad things. For ages, he was carrying her stuff for her. Not a single word did he say to her, saying, that's me you're talking about. Don't say those things about me. He didn't defend himself once. He let her ran and ran and ran. And then as he got to her house, he gave her the stuff. Thank you, she said to him. And she, she was like, so who are you? And he was like, I'm the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And she became Muslim in that moment because the entire journey, she was complaining about him and he didn't say one thing against her. And I think for me, that's such an important lesson because we get so touchy nowadays, right? If anyone says anything about us, imagine like someone says something mean about you, you're like, hey, don't say that about me. And like the amount, like he was so humble. He was of such high importance. He was so humble. And thinking about those niceties, the kindness, the charity, teaching others to give to charity, all those things were what impressed me the most, especially when I was non-Muslim learning about him for the first time. Guys, I would say this is beautiful, guys. Like, you're learning about him. Like, I'm still in the learning process, not about him, and... <laughs> but I wasn't taught when I was born, being a Christian, and, like, he was never mentioned. And something that I came to find my interest, like, I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't know, I don't know if it's God pushing me, but... Can I kind of find my interest in Islam, but... I'm learning a bit or two, but, but they said he is the most, I don't know, but I don't want to say this, I don't want to spoil the, but I'll say it, I'll say it. I believe Jesus was the most holiest man on earth, the most humble, the most caring. He lived without sin and he was born pure and he died pure. So he died and resurrected and ascended to heaven purely. Since you don't believe he died and resurrected, so let's just say he ascended purely. But come back to it. 
when he when he, they gave birth to him, he was pure. Like he he's the only man in this life that left that lived without a sin. He was persecuted without a sin. Like he committed no offense. Like he he helped. He healed. He he fed five thousand people. Like Jesus is someone that. Even if I say I want to be like him, I just can't. Like he is, he left, he lived a holy life. Like his life was pure purity. Like his life was, it was amazing. You you seen people that you tried your best to help, killing you, and you choose to die for them. It's just something mind blowing. God, this is the reason why I hold Christianity there because. I felt Jesus left lived a holy life and he is just he's more than a prophet because I don't think there's any prophet that is as holy as Jesus. Like I don't think there's any prophet that like it just don't sound right. Like when we call him Jesus a prophet, it does not sound right. I don't know, I don't know, but like explain, like explain it does not sound right calling me Jesus a prophet. <laughs> he is more than a prophet. Muhammad is, I can call Muhammad a prophet, but Jesus is more than a prophet. Muhammad lives a very beautiful life. Him being humble enough, like, this is something I kind of learned recently. Like, don't just, you don't, I'm not supposed to answer everybody. I felt if Muhammad, peace be unto him, was, if he actually debated with a woman, she wouldn't have converted to Islam, but he allowed her say her mind like let everything out then i come in it's beautiful like he's beautiful i for me i felt he was really really wise man but guys just to like just got my channel if you want to think about the video please don't come after me guys i'll see you next time guys first